What's going on, YouTube? OG back at you with another one. He is in these streets. He ain't got nothing going on where he is in the pharmacy getting his pain medication. But check this out, y'all. What y'all gonna do about flock off? Yeah. What y'all gonna do about Aiden Ross? I'm talking to the street. Now, mind you, this is not a post on asking what y'all gonna do about Flacco and Andy Ross and other bloggers and streamers like this from a violence standpoint. It's about their platforms. So I ask y'all again, streets, what are y'all gonna do with and about the likes of Flacco and Aiden Ross's of these new guys, man? This actually has stamped a sign of approval on snitching. Now, mind you, I want to give a quick history on what snitching is. You're not snitching if I see you breaking in my neighbor's house. I'm going to tell on you. That's not snitching. I'm going to tell it. Because I know today you'll be breaking in my neighbor's house and tomorrow it'll be mine. If I see you trying to take advantage of a woman or a child, I'm going to put some folks on you and help assist them in getting you. I'm going to tell on you and protect the innocent. That's not snitching. But for Aiden Ross to know that his paperwork on somebody in one form or another and goes out his way and reports it in so many words, that's snitching. He didn't have, anytime you doing that, you telling something you don't have it to do, you snitching. You provoke the streets and when they start provoking you, you call the police. Flacco, that's snitching. And, and I'm glad you at the very least acknowledged it. And that, that's the worst part about it. It's how Aiden Ross, Blanco, Charleston White, these people can disrespect, get paid. Oh, they can talk about the streets according to their rules. See, they want the streets to play by, I guess, cowardly vloggers' rules, I guess. What I mean by that is, is they want they want the streets to accept whatever they say about them and whatever goes on. See, that's what's going on with No Jumper. They put Brick Baby, DW Flame, and a few other bona fide Gs, and they flipped them. Now... I think that the black game just kind of caught on to Adam 22 in this game. You still going to have a few wannabes that ain't used to a few dollars that's going to go on the podcast. It ain't going to be many after this situation with Brick Baby because between Adam 20, uh, 22, y'all can't blame nobody but no jumper. You can't blame Wack 100 and no jumper is Adam 22. But Black, back to Flacco. Flacco sits his ass up in his bedroom. And feels like he has a right to challenge those youngsters' music, their street cred, their relationships, their work, and everything. He can say what he wants to them. Street guys. And wants them to play by the rules. Let me tell y'all something. It's gonna, somebody's gonna, gonna get hurt if y'all don't stop. Somebody's gotta stop. Because at the end of the day, Flacco, you were wrong. At the end of the day, Aiden Ross, you was wrong. At the end of the day, Charles and White is wrong for to be a provocateur and trying to make a living and making a good living off of playing the heat off of other people's reputation and then 
when somebody applies their pressure according to them, Charleston Whites want to call the police or the feds. You can't make this up, man. I'm humbly grateful that I don't have any kind of bond or relationship with any kind of social, major social media situations the way I got to bow down to the way the streets is being exposed like this. It really breaks my heart because everybody in the street is not bad. Everybody in the street, just because you, you get that G in you, that's something you're born in. I didn't have to be born on the west side of Chicago. I didn't have to be born in Cook County Hospital. I didn't ask for my people to be poor and for me to be exposed to the lifestyle. So you know what? I adopted what was in my environment. It wasn't until I became a mature young man that I realized that that wasn't a life. Block on them bullying y'all, man. And they're getting paid doing it. Aiden Ross is one of the biggest, most successful streamers that has some kind of way allowed himself to have a certain amount of dependency on mess out here. You know, he loves being involved in mess, but he's so fearful of consequences. And that's why he needs to get back to gaming. Leave the streets and the thugs and the rappers alone, Aiden Ross. Flacco, go do sports. Go do sports. Because you're not going to have your mouth on these guys in the street and think the street is not going to come looking for you. It just does not work like that. And I don't promote no violence, but we talking about legitimate street situations and street people. That's what we're talking about. Now, how do they handle their business and their problems? Flacco, Aiden, Charleston White. How long do y'all think y'all gonna be able to continue to hide behind the badge? Y'all just need to get to sports, uh, stand-up comedy, be who you are, because y'all chose to be in this field. And to be in these street guys' business. Y'all choosing this. That's what pissed me off. And then my youngest is study going to no jumper. They study being cool with Flacco. They study taking their, their bag from Aiden Ross. They selling their soul. You can't make this up. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button. Respectfully comment. You can respectfully disagree with me. Just remember, I'm OG, and you're going to respect me in my comments and in person, point blank period. Flacco, go do hockey. That's what you need to do. You need to get out of game and street culture. You and Aiden Ross, and go do PS2, Xbox, uh, NCAA Finals, NBA Championships, uh, some playoff college games, and stay out the street. Y'all are not built for the street. Charles and White, you are not built for the street. Y'all, like I said, don't forget to hit that like button, respect the comment, and subscribe and continue to watch OG videos because he almost there, y'all, and I'm humbled by it and I appreciate it. If nobody told y'all today, if they love you, OG love y'all. I'm out.